the upper Connecticut River Valley in the first days of peak foliage. This section of the upper valley is where routes 89 and 91 converge and where residents of Lebanon, New Hampshire look across to their neighbors in White River Junction, Vermont. It's also where New England's longest river is spanned by the nation's longest covered bridge. Built in 1866, the Cornish Windsor Bridge still bears a sign warning travelers to walk their horses or else. The Connecticut River defines the border between New Hampshire and Vermont. There's a little bit of everything here from high art to high adventure, and of course, the very best of rural New England. This is a very big donkey. I'm six feet tall. Debbie Hamilton introduces us to a rare breed of donkey known for its shaggy coat and floppy ears. The Poitou donkey is from the Poitou region of France, and it dates back at least to the year 1100. They are a very, very old breed. Temperament-wise, big, bumbling, kind, not incredibly bright. Come here. <laughs> Come on. Okay, the strength of these things is, is huge. For the past 10 years, Debbie has been collecting and breeding purebred Poitou donkeys at her nonprofit rare breed farm in Heartland, Vermont. Come on! Come on! Here they come. In 1970, there were only 40 known Poitous in the world. Today, there are probably 1,400, 50 of them right here at Debbie's farm. Yet they are still an endangered species. They're now very, very rare, and the reason they are is because when machinery came into use, yeah. these were used primarily as mule producers and farm animals were going out. So unfortunately, the breeders sent most of them to slaughter. Working closely with other breeders in France, Debbie is trying to correct a gene pool that has become very inbred. Other breeds she's working to rescue, these rare Choctaw Mustangs, brought to the New World by Spanish conquistadors. And these Dales Ponies, originally from England, the breed was nearly wiped out during the First World War. What else we're trying to preserve, as well as the animals themselves, is the, the biodiversity. If you look at these and you think, no more, <laughs> all of a sudden you say, no, and that's what I did. Just east of Quichy, Vermont, an almost irresistible farm stand called Fool on the Hill. There's no shortage of livestock here. The place is packed with dozens of locally produced foods. The most popular item all summer and well into the fall, corn on the cob, roasted on the spot and dunked into melted butter. Hot apple cider is another welcome treat for when the days grow nippy. And should you be hankering for a beverage of the harder variety, one of the best bets in the Upper Valley is the Salt Hill Pub in the heart of Lebanon. A Guinness and a shot of Jameson and you're good to go. Manager Brian Rye says it's the closest thing to an authentic Irish pub you're likely to find anywhere in New England, especially on Tuesday nights when Roger Burridge and his friends bring the authentic sounds of Ireland to New Hampshire. The biggest difference between here and, say, a pub in County Clare? Nobody's smoking. In the five years since it opened, the Salt Hill Pub has become a family destination where even the youngest children are welcome. It's kind of an anchor of now the town, of the city of Lebanon. You know, the city hall's right next door. We have this, you know, our Lebanon College right here, too. It's just such a great anchor to have, and, and you see some of the same people every day, and it's just a great community. And the Guinness is still flowing and the music is still playing at the Salt Hill Pub. In fact, there are now a total of four locations around the Upper Valley. Coming up, a ride with Peter in the old Chevy.